so we're coming down to do a, an explore tonight. Somebody told me that uh, you can get into these Redland Caves. Redland? Redcliffe? Yeah. I thought that sounded interesting. I'll give it a go. Let's go. So, can we can we be all agreed? Maybe just make out that yeah. asked me if I had any he asked me if I had any and yes I do Mr. M Mr. M Matty you asked for it you wanted it so I reckon you better fucking tie it off and uh, use it because it's a good idea you wanted it and I responded Nothing to see here, move on, move on. So this is not just like the fucking kiddies grotto in the corner. Is this that? It is just like a fucking little Yeah, it's not uh... this is not very big. But there is a blocked off wall over here, so what's that mean? Well you can climb over the top of it though. What does that mean? Somebody else's tunnels? Indeed. It looks like it's somebody else's tunnel. So if you climb into this bit, you're probably getting access to another tunnel. So, yeah. Oh, well. If the, this place was locked, this place was locked up tight, you know, but if it wasn't for the
感謝Lost them already. Look, they're going round. They're going round in bloody places. Piss. Nothing worse than being lost when you haven't got a. To have officially lost them straight away. Nice, isn't it? They've wrapped themselves round with a fucking little thing here. Yeah. Actually, now we're into somewhere. I don't know what's happening, but I can. But it's moving. It's going. I'm following this little yellow thing. It's telling me they're probably not far away, and I can see some lights. Oh my god. Oh my god. I wonder where you were. I did shout, I couldn't hear you. They, they do crouch down and start ducking down, and this looks like this all gets a bit crouchy. Yeah. So I think we've got to evaporate and go off. Jesus. This stuff's quite strong, man. Yeah. So, alright. The secret vault. Oh, 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 oh. Is that a dead end, Matt? Well, we've never done this. He was a powerful witness. Yeah, that's a good one. So everyone's kind of wondering which was the best way to go now. Kind of trying to work out where is the direction. Yeah, it's a bit of a maze, isn't it? Mm. What do you what do you get? What sort of feeling do you get from being in down here? Do you like it? Or? Yeah, it's crazy, isn't it? It's crazy. It's got a weird sort of atmosphere, like it's it's, it's knowing what's underneath your feet there. Knowing that there's a mine down there. Is there? Yeah. Really? Yeah, I suppose it is, but I don't know how deep it is, but that's why them wells go down as well as up. Oh. There is an old mine at the bottom of it. Okay. Looks like this stuff it very red, mm. very red. But I mean, it, it looks to me like these these sort of formations. It's almost like being in a jungle or something. Yeah, it's crazy, isn't it? It's like a jungle or an alien landscape. It's mad. Yeah. Like Tatooine or uh, something from Star Wars. You know, you can imagine sort of like. <laughs> you know. I think it's all man-made as well. I think they did um, film Doctor Who down here as well. Sort of. Oh, we've, we've lost him, haven't we? They've already been down, yeah? Yeah. Oh, they are down there, though. That's the way in, isn't it? Well, it's another area. It's not way in, but it's something. Oh, a dead end. Hmm. It's 
So what's that down here? There's a, like, whoops. Somebody's, somebody's like lifted their stone out of the floor. Maybe they're looking for something. Well, there might be all mine shafts in here that go down. Mm. And look, you know, little little clues that there might be something else. But, uh, oops, a daisy. I don't think they wanted people in this area. the others again. It's amazing because it feels like it's echoing because you go hello and you think your voice will travel but it doesn't. It goes her and it just dies away and you can't really be heard around a few corners, two or three corners and you've had it. Yeah, you See I was thinking looking up there that there was lights up there but it's our reflection yeah, of lights. It's a reflection of our lights. Damn it. And because we know it's quite sketchy, the uh, design of this place, hopefully they can remember their way back. Well, he seems to have a better memory than I have for that sort of thing. And, uh, I don't know. Yeah, we've, we've been this way. Just falling on the floor, that's good. Don't really want to give away a glove. Ah, oh, here they are. Got them back. I think that's all of it. Do you think we've done the whole of it? We went all the way to the end and it's a bad. It was, I'm sure there was, I'm yeah. sure there was another part of, of uh, through the, the archway bit. Hmm. Because if you go all the way down, there's nothing but brick walls where they like sealed up near tunnels. It's possible that there are some sections which have been bricked up to sort of sell off or, you know, make into another person's tunnel. Yeah. We're in one section and maybe there's another. But uh, yeah. Still an interesting find. It is an interesting tunnel though, yeah. It's very interesting. Say what? It's, yeah, it's probably safer because if we don't hit anything else after this or try from the hospital, then uh, I will not have much footage at all. So. Yeah. Good idea. Right, um, if I'm doing this, it would be wonderful if someone could hold my camera as well. Yeah, I would love to. It's already recording, I'll turn my torch back. I'll just do a quick radio spirit box. Just... Right, everyone, knowing the pain and suffering that happened in these slave tunnels down here, I figured it'd be appropriate during our short time that we're going to be able to be down here to do a quick spirit box just to see if we can communicate with any kind of spiritual entity that is left over from the past. Hello? Is there anybody here with us? I'm stupid, we're underground. Spirit box isn't gonna work. 
I gotta do an EVP. Don't stop recording. The, the speaker box may work on certain frequencies. Short wave comes through. And this long wave and short wave, but not FM. Understanding that the slave trade was such a brutal part of history, I feel that it's only fair to give the spirits a chance to talk and see if there's anybody left behind in these dark and deranged tunnels. Hello, is there anybody down here with us? Can you try and come forward? Were you a slave? There's a small tap behind you, but can you try to make a noise for us? Maybe louder than that, if that was you. Sorry, that's me. like the slightest noise there. Hold on. There, but it's so quiet. Couldn't pick it up. A whisper or something, isn't it? Mine's got a bit of a beard. I'm gonna tickle its beard. Tickle. tickle its beard and see if it if it gives any EVP if I tickle your beard. Come on. Okay. I tickle your beard. Give me some EVP. I'm walking back to my car. <laughs> really? <laughs> no. Am I am I too crazy for you? <laughs> You're, you fit in just fine, actually. Okay. Cool. That's okay. Like that. I think I should think we're on Tatooine from Star Wars. It's otherworldly. Yeah. That's an outback kind of feeling, you know, Australian outback. Mmm, that's that's true, yeah. Hello. How many ghosts did you catch while you were down there? Just one. Just one? Good. <clears throat> Marco slammed. <laughs> I got slammed twice so far now. You don't watch that though. I'm puzzled. To be fair, I don't think there's going to be any EMF down here whatsoever. That's why you I never know. Well, you never know. I just, have to try. I just stupidly did a freaking, freaking spirit box, forgetting that we're underground and no radio could come through. Well, FM anyway. Yeah. Oddly, yeah, long we're wave. Slaves down there. Short wave and long wave are pretty good, yeah. Long wave. Slaves, we're slaves kept me there, wasn't it? Yeah, sure, man. So they would have ended up dying down here eventually. I mean, kept in a place like this. Sure. I mean, I wouldn't see myself living too long down here. Can you imagine, sort of like coming from Africa and sailing across the sea without any food and 
you know, sort of, then you, you yeah, turn up in a place like down Bristol down. and, you know, suddenly locked in a cave. Would you even know it's Bristol then? You wouldn't you know, would straight you? off the boat and straight into it, yeah. Mm. A new foreign language, even if you tried to ask, no one would understand you. Yeah, you wouldn't understand what's going on. But if you're a slave, no one would tell you. Could have been just possibly offered a better false life, brought here under false pretenses, and then, yeah, locked in here. Hmm. And you heard something there? I just heard a freaking... Sorry, I'm never recording when this happens. I just heard a freaking scream. Like Definitely a woman's scream. Something. You've done the same in box as well. Hello? Mm. Have there been any places in here which seem to you more yeah. ominous or more, you know? Because I found some places, I, I found an area that looked quite rounded and sort of looked quite friendly. But uh, there's the, the mine, the well, that kind of filled me with a bit of sort of like dread, kind of like maybe yeah. because of the heights, I don't know. But there was a feeling of sort of, you know, I'm not sure about that. Yeah. Something about. This section with the lantern hanging there, yeah, the bars, yeah. this gave me a really off vibe, that's why I wanted to try here. It'll probably be quite hard to get lost in here, but uh, certainly at its current size. We've got some electric meters here. What's that? you got a uh, tri-field tri meter. meter, yeah. yeah. I haven't used one of those in over a year now. Yeah. Crop circle people who kind of getting out of the subject, so they gave it to me and said, Oh, you, you're into this stuff still, ain't you? Yeah. Hey, well, set the rump pod in the doorway there. I am going to set the rump pod up You know how this works. Anything goes near the object, and it will. It will go crazy. So it's like a theremin. It detects. Um, um, electromagnetic so forces and really bad vibes in here, but actually in this yeah, section yeah. we have heard voices and stuff so and that big thump. I'm so a big thump I swear I heard a scream. I'm open and caught that on camera to be honest. Right. Um, let's all remain super quiet and let's try this one more time. Right, let me stand up. Alright, here I go. If there's anybody here with us could you please try and affect that device right there in the doorway? Could you give us any kind of sign of your presence? Did you die here? Unfortunately, the REM pod hasn't gone off, but it always happens unexpectedly. Mm. Oh, a bit like that. <laughs> yeah, it's always when you when you just sort of like stop recording, isn't it? And something goes boosh. <laughs> it's like the cosmic joker we call it in crop circles. It's like just when you didn't, you know, you thought it was you know, not going to happen, and it's, it tricks you and lulls you with a false sense of security. Just when you thought it was safe to go down the road in that field. Mm. Right, let's give this a listen then. Yeah, it's gonna. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just seeing how close I get to the magnets and things before it affects it. But yeah, so I'll keep it far away. By the way, 
if you guys see anything in the smoke at all, just let me know in the comments below. What? Hold on. There's something odd there. Sounds like footsteps for me, doesn't it? Sounds like two whispers, two breathy whispers, like, you. I, I hear in a weird way, human, but I don't think it is human. Did you die here? Can you talk him from that way? Like someone having a conversation. What the hell is that? That's my phone, probably. The vibration. Yeah, that's a vibration. That only just started, though. That's only just started. This place is a bit, a bit creepy, even being honest. Right, looks like it will start right there. Yeah, you might have heard people talking around there, because that's where the other entrance is just from. Oh, yeah, that's all these people are. Oh. She's a female chihuahua, do you know what I mean? Like that. This ends up halfway at the wall, man. The <laughs> where she could ever reach. <laughs> Bred to urinate higher than any other breed of dog up the wall. Yeah. You know, it's like they mark it off, they spray it in red paint, like, you know, chihuahuas. <laughs> anyway, on that note, uh, that's been the Red Cliff Tunnels, and uh, there are some other tunnels. We might go and have a look at those uh, at uh, another time. Um, I am booked in for a sort of visit here so maybe that will be in the other section but uh, yeah you know there are some bits that you can get access to as we've seen quite interesting and uh, there's even a place for the homeless if you want to go and live in the homeless place go and live over there so yes it's fun for everybody